Hello, everyone. It is with a heavy heart that I relate to you, the people of the internet, that the FCC has ruled to repeal net neutrality laws. The vote was three in favor of the repeal and two against. I wouldn't say that this outcome is unexpected, but its enormous impact is still felt very deeply around the nation nonetheless. So what does this all mean? Well, the man leading the charge of net neutrality's repeal, Trump appointed FCC chair Ajit Pai, has just paved the way for allowing internet service providers in America to have untethered control over how we consume the internet. They'll be able to speed up or slow down the sites that they want, block the sites that they want, and charge however much they want all for their own interests. Now, all those opposed to net neutrality claim that they will not exploit their newfound powers and that scenarios like ISPs charging for cable TV style tiered packages for different types of internet content is nothing more than fear mongering. But then that begs the question, why the hell are they asking for the power to enable them to do all these things? They say they won't fuck over consumers and yet they're giving themselves the ability to do so if they so desire at their leisure. That's like a known murderer asking for a gun while making reassurances that they won't use it to shoot anyone. They say they won't use it to harm others for their own benefit, and yet they're asking for the means to do so if they want to, because reasons? Are we just supposed to take the ISP's word for it and believe that they'll be responsible with their new power and that they'll use it for our betterment? If you ask me, you'd be a fool to believe that. Even while net neutrality laws were in place, there were already accounts of ISPs blocking competing apps or websites and implementing policies that benefit certain services over others. So if they were already pulling bullshit like this while the ball and chain of net neutrality was keeping them at bay, Imagine what they'll be capable of once those restraints are removed. They'd be able to blatantly mold the internet in their own image and no one would be able to stop them. Now, those opposed to net neutrality claim that government regulation interferes with ISP's ability to make progress and innovate, but there is no real evidence to suggest that any of that is actually true. All net neutrality has done is enforce a level of oversight so that ISPs can't just do whatever the hell they want with the internet whenever they feel like it. ISPs also keep touting that consumers have just as much to gain from net neutrality's repeal, but let's be real here, the ISPs have everything to gain and consumers have everything to lose. It's about as skewed as a decision can be and most people in America, both Democrats and Republicans, agree. Fortunately, all hope isn't lost. While the FCC may have voted to repeal net neutrality, the war is still very far from over. I'm seeing a lot of people on social media just throw down their pitchforks and declare that the internet is dead but it's important to keep in mind that the recent vote isn't an execute order 66 type of situation where everything goes to shit in an instant. The FCC has merely gotten over one of many hoops that they'll have to jump through to push this thing all the way through. So what avenues do we have at the moment to stop this? The most pertinent way right now is by appealing to Congress. Under the Congressional Review Act, they can stop the FCC in their tracks by passing something called a resolution of disapproval, and in doing so, they'd be able to overturn the recent vote. Now, make no mistake, this is gonna be an uphill battle, since a resolution of disapproval needs either presidential support, and we all know that probably won't happen, or the backing from two thirds of the House and the Senate within a 60 day window. Which is why it is so important that you call members of Congress ASAP, especially if you live in a state in which your congressman may be in support of recent developments. If enough Republican members of Congress in particular can be convinced to support net neutrality and condemn its repeal, then there might be a fighting chance after all. Keep in mind that midterm elections are coming up in 2018, so one way you can make a stance is by letting them know that you will not be voting for them if they will not aid in the fight for a free and open internet. Obviously, be respectful, but also be assertive. Let them know how important this issue is, because it is important. We are talking about a battle for the very soul of the internet as we know it. An internet that has paved the way to great innovation, economic growth, and open communication over the past few decades. We need to fight to ensure that the likes of Comcast and Verizon and the corporate few can't take away and abuse 
what we have built as a collective. Also, know that you're not alone in this war. We are already seeing companies like Netflix, among many others, who were born from and rely on a free and open internet, advocating for net neutrality, promising that this is merely the beginning of a longer legal battle. So aside from Congress, another roadblock that the FCC faces are the many lawsuits that are making their way from the nation's biggest companies and players. What we have that the FCC doesn't is strength in numbers from both the left and the right and from both the bottom and the top of the pyramid. The fact remains that the majority of Americans are in favor of net neutrality and against its repeal, against giving the billionaire few untethered power. And this is an advantage that we have to leverage sooner rather than later if we intend to preserve the free, open, and fair internet. So for those who have already dropped their pitchforks, pick them back up, make your voices heard, and for the love of God, please call Congress. Let them know that we will not stand for this bullshit. With that, I would like to end this news update. Thank you for tuning in. If you're in support of net neutrality and love the internet, consider visiting battleforthenet.com for all things net neutrality related. They've got everything you need to write or call Congress. They've got videos explaining the ramifications of net neutrality's repeal, and it's a one-stop shop for everything you can do to fight the recent vote. And to be further updated on all things net neutrality, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.